It was a night like no other, one of those rare evenings when the sky seemed darker and the stars a bit dimmer. I remember it vividly, not because of the ominous weather, but because of the gnawing feeling deep within me. Jay, my beloved son, known to the world as the Cordovan Speedster, had always been a beacon of light, a whirlwind of energy and promise. But that night my heart was heavy with a fear I couldn't quite explain. I walk through your dreams, my son, I whispered to the wind, the prophetic words echoing in my mind. For weeks I'd been haunted by visions, disturbing dreams of Jay's face, distorted by fear, and a cold mechanical laugh that sent chills down my spine. I knew something terrible was coming, but I couldn't fathom its true nature. And then it happened. The night was shattered by the sound of breaking glass and the eerie hum of advanced technology. Isage, the cyborg villain, had come. Her dark silhouette loomed over our home, her mechanical limbs gleaming with a sinister light. She moved with the precision of a predator, her eyes locked onto Jay. Before I could react, she was upon him, her cold metal fingers gripping his arm with inhuman strength. Michael Sanderson, she hissed, her voice a blend of metal and malice. Your son is the key to my plan. His speed, his power, it will all be mine. I fought, oh how I fought. But Isage was prepared, her enhancements giving her the upper hand. In moments she had subdued me, and with a final taunting smile she vanished into the night, taking Jay with her. The world seemed to crumble around me. My son, my Jay, was gone. The Cordovan speedster, the hero who had saved so many, was now the one who needed saving. In the days that followed, I reached out to every hero I knew. One punch Dan, with his unmatched solar mega fist strength and unwavering determination, was the first to arrive. His presence brought a flicker of hope. Alongside him came Valerie Steele, Pretty Punch, TF Lame, Alpha Pass, and even the Jackal. Each one brought their unique skills and relentless drive to the search. We scoured the city, leaving no stone unturned. Every dark alley, every abandoned building was searched with meticulous care. Yet, Isage was always a step ahead, her cunning and ruthlessness making her a formidable foe. But I couldn't give up. I walked through your dreams, my son. I whispered each night, hoping that somehow he could hear me that my words would reach him wherever he was. The heroes searched tirelessly, their efforts fueled by the bond we all shared, a bond of love and determination to bring Jay back. And so the search continues. With each passing day, the shadows of despair grow longer, but so does our resolve. We will find Jay. We will bring the Cordovan speedster back. Isage may have taken him, but she hasn't taken our hope our love, our determination. For as long as I walk through your dreams, my son, I will never stop searching. We will never stop fighting. And one day we will bring you home.